Is the State Department currently preparing to engage with the Biden transition team? And if not, at what point does a delay hamper a smooth transition or pose a risk to national security? There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're going to count all the votes. When the process is complete, there will be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. There is no evidence of any of the assertions made by the President or Secretary of State Pompeo. <laughs> Secretary of State Pompeo. Look at reality. President, ba Secretary Pompeo, Joe Biden has won. He's won the election. Now move on. Let's bring this country together and get things done. We have a COVID crisis raging. We don't have time for these kinds of games. Were you being serious there? Uh, we'll have a smooth transition and we'll see what the people ultimately decided when all the votes have been cast. We have a process, Brett. The Constitution lays out how electors vote. It's a very detailed process laid out. We need to comply with all of that. And then I am very confident that we will have a good transition, uh, that we will make sure that whoever is in office on noon on January 20th has all the tools readily available so that we don't skip a beat. The nation's top diplomat, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, perpetuating the false narrative that Trump could still win. In. I, I, is that a joke? It's a bad joke. Or maybe it's not a joke. I don't know. We're in a battle right now between denialism and reality. It is, it is just extraordinary to hear the Secretary of State really sounding like Baghdad Bob at this point uh, to President Trump, Saddam Hussein. You know all those dictators you visited, Mr. Secretary? That wasn't supposed to be an internship. Well, I think it's delusional uh, for Mike to say that. And uh, I must say, I think he's eviscerated his credibility internationally uh, because I think there are very few people in the, even in the U.S. government who believe that's the case. I, I don't know why he had to have that briefing and I don't know why he felt he uh, needed to make that statement maybe other than to avoid being fired like uh, others are being throughout the administration. The way in which they're conducting themselves is more akin to a dictatorship than a democracy and I think that the uh, again State Department has been politicized just like the DOD has tried to be politicized and what we've done to undermine the intelligence community and other agencies. The president's obviously struggling psychologically to accept his defeat uh, while he is doing so uh, he is forcing the entire Republican Party to acquiesce uh, in this charade, in part because they're trying to uh, motivate their base for a couple of Senate elections in Georgia uh, in January.